it indicated my the size of my ego. I'm not sure because without when you don't move it, mm -hmm. it looks. But or when I hit record, then the black the thing top. starts, and then but before, see, so maybe it's. Well, whatever you think, you're in charge. Okay. <clears throat> good morning. I'm gonna say good morning. Yeah, good morning. I'm gonna say good morning. I'm gonna <laughs> say good morning. I could just say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Birch and Birch Pod Vlogcast. Pod Vlogcast. I'm Morgan Birch. I'm Bill Birch, and we're a father, daughter, daughter, father real estate team in the greater New York City area, Hoboken and New Jersey, more specifically. Mm -hmm. From Iowa. Yes, originally. Yeah, originally from Iowa. Mm hmm. So, a lot of you already probably know that, but what the heck? That's not true. We don't know who's watching this. That's true. We must assume no one knows anything about us because we are very small minnows in a massive ocean. <laughs> so true. So true. Which is why so many people suffer from depression. I don't think that's the reason. No. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> I, would you like to discuss it? No, we can talk about that later. We'll let that work its way into some other conversation. So what's new in your life? What's going on? Well, now all I can think about is <laughs> my theories on depression, <laughs> which are bounded by skimming well, articles and personal experience. Um, what's... Go ahead. I was going to answer your question. Okay, please do. What's new in my life since last episode which is episode one because i don't want to i don't want to upload any of the other crap we made <laughs> we've tried this a few times you guys <laughs> it's so easy to think things aren't good enough yes that and that's which we're the trying to get over gave me yesterday and it was a it was a good one it wasn't really a lecture but anyway go ahead please continue it was a lecture <laughs> it was a more it was a conversational lecture uh, what's new in my life? I had a really good lunch yesterday. Mm -hmm. Not the food. Actually, the food, the food was like eating a garlic clove. Ooh. Just like every, yeah. I've had a lot of mints today to spare you already. I can't get it out of my mouth. Um, but it was amazing because a friend of mine from college who, we weren't that close really in college mm -hmm. or after, but at from Tufts. afar, for, at Tufts, yeah, he was, he seemed so um, smart and interesting and fun and just like a really cool, unique dude. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure, I think I asked him to get together, I think, but whatever. We got together yesterday for the first time in years and it was so cool to see him and it was really interesting to remember that feeling of being at Tufts and being like oh I'm not the brightest person in the room <laughs> <laughs> I like the quote if you're the if you're the smartest person in the room you're in the wrong room mm -hmm. but in actuality it's so painful <laughs> so being in a conversation with him being like god damn you're smart <laughs> you, you know so much and you'd spend so much time researching and it was uh but now being older it was this be it was a better it was a great experience. It was like, oh, this is so fun. I'm learning learning about things that I haven't taken time to research it at all, and you have, which is so cool. Mm -hmm. And the and it's also recognizing the power of curiosity. I mean, really, the reason he knows that stuff is yes, he has a good memory, but also he deploys his curiosity and memory to grow. And he went through Tufts too, and had the same mentality I did, which was, oh, shoot, <laughs> I'm not, these people are so smart, they know so much, I can be academic too, I can get this, and I think it really, it made me realize, oh, people, that it was really worth it, that's how I feel, I, there's a, a humility about your intellect that comes from being with people who, surrounded by people who just know so much more than you, and being like, okay, I need to learn how to think this way, and how to think critically and ask questions and allow my curiosity to be insatiable. Cool. I just rant. That was too long. What All of that took too long. You should have timed me. <laughs> no, I think it's a, I think it works in every area of life. I think we see it in our real estate life. We have yeah. real estate agents that recognize that it's a low bar to entry. So they get in easy and they don't really, you know, some people 
you know, I always say no one knows what their house smells like. Fish don't know they're wet. Yeah. Um, and they don't. They don't realize how much they don't know. They just think they should be able to stumble through their day or their week, and it should be okay. Yeah, and, and other people are doing it fine, so I'm doing it fine. It's fine. I yeah. can do it if other, yeah. But, it, but when you surround yourself with, you know, we've been really lucky at Element to um, connect with and surround ourselves with some of the top producing brokers and realtors. Um, and it makes you realize yeah. how much there is to learn and yes. what a precise science it is to do a great job. And I think, well... I and I think that's the way it is in almost every career. I mean, maybe not a precise... It's not like there's a clear-cut, precise, follow this path and you will succeed. No, not... But, but from an education, yes. knowing knowing the details, I knowing how to negotiate uh, yeah. your way through the forest. There's so many... There are so many aspects to it. Negotiate's a good word, too, because negotiation's one of the things you have to learn in order to be really good at it. And I think that's the difference between excellence and mediocrity it's not pers- I don't know if it's pursuing excellence so much as it is think it's the thinking there's a temptation to think oh they're doing it so I can do it too and and not, and that's it that you don't go they're doing it thus they had to learn and are still learning so much if I am curious and I keep learning I can do it too. Mm-hmm. You just kind of stop at, well, they're doing it, I can do it. It's like when you get an Ikea piece of furniture and you don't read the instructions because you're like, right. this is figure outable. Figure outable. I like that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's fine. And then you end up making a rickety thing. Indeed. That's the way it works. Yeah. So anyway, there you are. What about you? What's on your mind? What's new with you? Uh, wrapped up the first chunk of my broker's class waiting to get my Did, test okay. results. I haven't gotten them yet now, but I'm pretty... It seemed um, easy. Good. So hopefully that means I passed. Oh, I but, just feel um, like I'm leaning over towards the mic, so my voice can be two times louder than yours. Boo. No, <laughs> we're learning. Get here. here, here get it. I think yours is twice as valuable as mine, so that's good. Ooh. So that works out. Ooh, it's so good. Thank you. Mm. It's but you know true, something but. cool about that is in that class there are a lot of people that are not natural born US citizens and they've immigrated here or moved here from other countries and they're learning yes. <coughs> English is their second language and yeah. I'm so impressed with the work ethic and the dedication that it takes to move to another country learn another language and then try to take on a career like this. And pass um, an exam in the other language. Right. And not proving I can speak this language, proving I know the knowledge, so it's like a double test. Exactly. And I'm here I am a, a retired entrepreneur um, now in the real estate refired. business. Refired, not retired. Refired. Yeah. <laughs> Re- lighting that fire again in this new career. And um, the wording, you know, many of the words, we've done a lot of real estate business through my past life and those words are all familiar to me I know how to pronounce right. them but as yeah. where you know the instructor calls on someone to read a paragraph and I realize how many of those words in there are foreign and they have to learn those words yeah. to be able to answer the question correctly so that they can pass the test and I think oh what a daunting learning curve that is and yeah. I don't know that I've got the horsepower or I would have the horsepower to do that I, I just I can't imagine going to China or India or right. South America or anywhere where, where they speak any other language and then starting over and um, that I just super impressed you know I just yeah. I look at those people and I think wow you guys are awesome so anyway I love that. I love that you noticed that's that. kind of a about that too. kind of a new thing for me I think other people would be annoyed that they that the those who are learning the language are slower Oh, hopefully not. Maybe in a maybe but in I a past generation. You think so? Yeah. Even even people who are down with immigration, it's just in that moment. It's like, man, you're slowing me down. I think that happens. Well, a lot. people are like, I'm like that when I drive. <laughs> I am very <laughs> I'm <a little> aware. <laughs> I have a real problem with. <laughs> he does. Driving. I'm a fairly aggressive driver. A little Bill Burr like. Yeah, I am a little Bill Burr like. Maybe it's the initials just, BB. No, no, just a little. Are we the same age? I think 
He looks a little younger well, than me. He's younger. Yeah. But only by like five years. Yes. Only by five years. That was a, like, just in case, save me. That was perfect. No, I really think he is only younger than you by five years. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. And he has significantly less hair. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, darling. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Um. Cruising right along. Oh, that's our timer. Oh, it's a countdown? Yeah, that was a countdown, so that means that's what we... We had a we had a goal. We may extend it by five minutes or so. Maybe ten. We'll see. We don't actually have firm parameters around our little podcast here. Yeah, that was another discussion we had yesterday. So anyway. We should have recorded that. One of our goals is to make sure that anybody that listens to this gets some value out of it in at least a couple areas. Yeah. And generally, real estate would be one of those areas. Yes. And yesterday you'd asked me to come with a topic that I thought people don't really get and that we could yes. help them understand yes all right my topic zillow yes okay i want to talk about zillow for I'm a minute great because i got a call yesterday from someone that's searching on zillow and we we pay a fee to our team does actually um lisa poji that's and, true yes um we pay a fee to be recognized as Premier agents. Now, while we may be premier agents, or at least want to think that we are premier in every way. I mean, look at us. Really? Or listen to us. Yeah. So now it's you know clear. we're not. But anyway, um, people look at that, and they're looking at a property. They want to know about it, and they click a premier agent, but they really think that they're contacting the listing agent. So the listing agent being the one that actually made the agreement with the seller to promote their house or market their house. Um, so then they get you on the phone and they're like, yeah, I want to talk to you about your listing at 123 Main Street. And you, uh, instantly I'm thinking, we don't have a listing at 123 Main Street. But, uh, oh, did you see it on Zillow? Yes, I did. Or Trulia or Realtor.com because we do all that stuff. And then I have to inform them that I'm not the listing agent. Though we do that differently, but yeah. We do that differently. So anyway. Um, snatch, them, snatch them right up. I do tell them they're not my list. That's, this isn't my listing, but mm -hmm. I am an expert in the area, and I do know this property. If you do, and I'd love to. Yeah. I mean. So anyway, <laughs> so that's my line. So anyway. Um, anyway. So that so was anyway. the point. Was um, first talking a little bit about Zillow. You have to recognize that when you click on those people on the right, with all those great reviews, that um, they are going to or they're in hopes of being your buyer's agent they're typically not the listing agent but if you look you can also sponsor it so as the listing agent you show up first also um, but just pay attention to who you're clicking if you want to reach the listing agent directly mm -hmm. then look for the picture that says listing agent on it rather than premier agent it is certainly confusing there's no question that it's confusing and I, think, to I the, mean it's designed to be confusing. i think it is designed a little bit to be confusing and the reason we joined is not because we love that they do that it's they do that it's, and it's, we, we'd like to have a fighting chance yeah we on wanna, zillow. exactly we, oh. we want to have a fighting chance in our industry and that's just um zillow's kind of become the default mls in most of the country mm -hmm. and um, that's the way it works and same thing with street easy that has been purchased by zillow same right. thing works the same way um and you that's know, a key takeaway that's a key takeaway um and then maybe tomorrow or maybe in our next podcast, we can talk about the negotiations of, or the pros and the cons of working with the listing agent directly. Oh, instead of having a buyer's agent? Instead of having a buyer's agent. Yeah. You know, because a lot of people feel that working directly with the listing agent is the best route to go. Mm -hmm. It can be. It can be. Um, I would venture uh, an estimate that more often than not you're probably better with a buyer's agent and that's even us As having listings yes you know there are a number of times that we'll suggest to our buyer that we not you it <laughs> i'm sure i was shushing the time it's not, not that smart a phone it's pretty smart but uh, okay okay fair <laughs> 
I didn't expect it to know. Anyway, so um, I think we should talk a little bit about the difference between you know yeah. working directly with a listing it's agent and then having a buyer's agent on your behalf. And when, when to do one and when to do the other. I mean, in a buyer's market, it's different than if you're in a seller's market. Definitely different. But even so. Definitely different. Even so, it's still, it, it depends a lot on your personal situation and how your motivation and, and the intensity or the quickness that you need to make and the deal. And how many times you've purchased in the past. If yeah, you've never done a New Jersey purchase, going with directly is uh -huh. a risky move. Because you're not familiar with the process and you're relying... We can right. talk about this another time. Yeah, we'll time. talk about it another time because yes. our podcast time, is going to get a little bit long. Yes, <clears throat> we were trying to stay under 15. We passed it. That's fine. Okay. Go ahead. You just looked at the... I, I was just... We have a loose ignore me. itinerary. I can't. <laughs> you, are, <laughs> you are not ignorable. Oh, isn't that nice? Thank you. You're welcome. So, um, back to you. If there are things yes, you that you might want to ask or you think we should cover, AMA. we're certainly able to do that. We've got... Um, you know, Morgan's highly educated, That's and I'm an not, but I have a life, I have my lifetime. I could, all of my mistakes, I always consider them my tuition, my college tuition, all of the and money that I've... a ton of experience. Yeah, that ton of experience means ton of money floating away that had <laughs> I been a little bit smarter would have stayed here. Um, no, but you know But so I've learned from a lot of this. So. whisperer. I mean, there's a lot of questions that you could I mean, answer. Yeah, you just bring it on. And we would love to talk about what you want to talk about. And um, that's about it. So I think yeah. maybe is that a good place to wrap up I without think, I mean, making this go so. on too long? I think so. Anyway. So So anyway. <laughs> so anyway. You do say anyway a lot. Anyway, so anyway. Anyway. So that's how we anyway. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, so anyway. Maybe we should put that on a card. We could do we, cards like that. One day we could have t-shirts. Anyway, so anyway. There we go. And then no one will know why it says that. Just us. Shake and bake. Shake and bake, baby. Have right. a wonderful uh, day. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> that was good. Okay. <laughs>